Well, I think uh, this uh, World Championships in each age, the under 19, under 21, are very, very useful to develop volleyball in the world. Uh, I, say, I think it's um, important not only for the strong countries, but uh, more than the countries who are, want to arrive to the first level. Because if they start with senior, it's very difficult. So I hope uh, in the future, maybe more teams can play. And I think uh, it's useful, it's, uh, it's possible to play again World Championship under 23. I think it's, it's not important for Italy, maybe, or Russia, or uh, Brazil, but it's very useful for the countries who need to improve to arrive to the first level. I think in this tournament, uh, Iran team is the strongest team. Uh, but of course, well, each match is different, but it's the strongest team for sure. Uh, for Iran, what is important is the change from junior to senior. Uh, because also in the past, Iran won World Championships or arrive second uh, with the junior or with the uh, under 19, but uh, the change to senior is uh, is, uh, is more important. I already talked when I was in Iran with uh, President Davarsane about this, and uh, he he knows what I think about it. Uh, but Iran have everything to stay. Uh, in the first level uh, all the time. But uh, of course there are always more teams. For example, Japan now is improving a lot. And Iran play uh, against Japan in, um, in Asiatic games. So it's necessary all the time improve and, uh, and become stronger also in senior. You know, there are some some problems for this that I, I already talked with Mr. Davarzani, but I don't talk public, which is my idea why it is this problem in Iran. But he knows what I think. You know, to predict uh, is very difficult, but uh, normally the best player for junior team uh, play in senior team in all the countries. So it's what happened in the last 20 years, so I think I don't think they will be the exception. Uh, I think Iran improved a lot because when I arrived in Iran, the level was very good. Uh, some people in Europe think, uh, oh, uh, you change everything in Iran. I always said it's not true. I don't change everything because the level was already very good. The league was good and the national teams were good. They needed my idea to improve some things that they did, the team, especially in reception, especially in individual tactics of attack. They look only to, to do strong points and don't play tactics, and they improve a lot about this. And also now I see the players improve a lot about these things. And uh, I think they will continue to improve if, if uh, all the players are hu humil, you know, because sometimes when when a team win, they think, oh, we are the best, you know, especially in this age. This is a problem in all the countries. In, in this age, it's so important to say, okay, I win, but I need to improve a lot because the level of senior is stronger, is more difficult, so it's important to continue to improve all the time and not to say okay now i am an important man my name you know my name i always say in iran i don't care about names i care about how you play i always use this idea with my players in iran i think about reza and also other coaches that i knew in iran they i, I think iran have a lot of good coaches what is important for all the coaches, not only Iran coaches, also Italian coaches, also Argentine coaches, all is to continue to 
take information about the others. We live in a civilization who, of internet, you know, where everything is changing all the time. Everybody learns from everybody. There are not schools anymore in the sport in the world. Because years ago when we didn't have internet, you go to a World Championship or Olympics and learn some things new. Now, each day you learn something new. We, uh, very often, you don't know from who you learn something, because it's so quickly information. But it's important to be open. That is what is important, to be open all the time. I think that is a, a normal process. I mean, some countries need for a, a, a period to have foreign coaches. Even in Italy it was like that, but many years ago it was a Czechoslovakian coach, Kosak, who taught a lot uh, to Italian uh, players. I am from Argentina and coach Italian team. And also in Argentina we had a Korean coach for national team. But if the coaches improve, I think it's normal they continue the work in, in each country. Uh, but uh, it depends if they take the most important idea that is not who have the truth, but how much I can learn all the time. Because volleyball, like science, like everything changed so quickly. Imagine a doctor who say, okay, I, have, I am the best, I have the truth. In one year, everything changed in one year in medicine, you know? So that's why... Uh, I, I was in a clinic in Tehran, you know, the doctors speak English, they learn from for all the world, like, like, like everybody, you know, must be the same in volleyball, must be the same in the sport and everything. Mr. Dabarsani was one of the best uh, managers I, I have in my career. And I have good ones. <laughs> But he's one of the best because he's a president who has very clear ideas, very clear, good leadership. He has a good decision but calm, not nervous, you know, because lose a game. So I have, he has a strategy. Not all the presidents have a strategy. Some presidents have only tactics, only for the moment, you know and not a long view. He has a long view. And uh, I'm sure he can uh, continue to lead Iran to the first level in the world.